Hello. So we just talked about how matrices have singular value decompositions. And now I want to tell you what do we do with them? Because singular value decomposition is actually incredibly, incredibly useful. So to remember, here's what singular value decomposition means. It means you can take any matrix and write, find some orthonormal vectors and some other orthonormal vectors, the U's in the target space and the V's in the source space. So that A maps the V's to scalar multiples of the U's. And actually, um, a few years ago, I was telling my, my PhD advisor that I was going to be teaching linear algebra. And he said, well, day one is singular value decomposition, right? And Actually, it's the last day because it takes a while to build up all the tools we need. But it is really fundamental to everything, to so many computational ideas afterwards. So really the best answer to what do you do with singular value decomposition is come to the presentations. We should have so many good presentations about the uses of singular value decomposition in image compression, face recognition, um, analysis of statistics, data clustering, numerical computation, the list is gonna go on and on. But I'll also try to say a little bit here. So let's suppose we have some matrix and we have its singular value decomposition. So here's the U's, here's the sigmas, here's the V's. And let's imagine that almost all the sigmas are actually so small, we can ignore them. So let's imagine that Sigma one and sigma two over here are pretty big, but then everything else is really very small. And this actually happens all the time for in realistic problems. So in that case, U3, U4, blah, 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 all these U's over here, they're not going to matter because they're going to get multiplied by these small numbers. They're going to shrink them down to practically zero. And similarly, V3, V4, blah, blah, Vn, they're not going to matter. They're going to get multiplied by small numbers. So basically everything over here and everything over here is going to go away and not affect our answer and our matrix is going to look like a much smaller matrix like this. Only sigma one and sigma two are going to survive and only the V1 and V2 and U1 and U2 that go with them. So roughly speaking, U1 and U2 will be a basis for the image then. And roughly all those Vs we threw away are going to be roughly a basis for the kernel. So and of course, there's nothing special about two here. If there were three large singular values and all the others didn't matter, then we get about three vectors. So we get three vectors surviving here and three vectors surviving here. Singular value decomposition lets you say, I've got this huge rectangular matrix, but it basically just has a very small dimensional image. And almost everything is basically in the kernel. And Singular value decomposition lets you know which parts you can throw away as not being important and only keep the small amount that survives. So it lets you take a matrix which is both very wide, lots of columns, and very tall, and treat it as the product of one tall skinny matrix reflecting a small image by one wide fat matrix reflecting it almost everything is in the kernel. So why do you want to do this? Well, you want to do this whenever you have some huge rectangular grid of data and you want to compress it and think about it as being made up of some simpler data, <clears throat> which doesn't actually have very many dimensions in it. So you want to have something, so you want to imagine that this height is thousands and thousands and this width is thousands and thousands, but this really is only two or three. And you're saying all this huge rectangular array of data really only has two or three dimensions of variation in it. And to see lots of concrete examples of that, come to the presentations. And finally, so this is our last lecture video. Thank you for taking our course. Uh, I enjoyed teaching it. I hope you learned a lot from it. I hope you go on to take lots more math courses. Thank you very much.